How's it going, guys? We are on Facebook Live. A couple of announcements to make, some things you may not know. Uh, but we have added what's called a monkey adventure to our tours. So you can add a monkey adventure to our guided safari tour, and you can also add it to our VIP tour. Our VIP tour is discounted. Um, all our add-ons are discounted to our VIP tours. But if you're wondering what a monkey adventure is, you get to come inside our monkey room, hang out with our incredible spider monkeys. You get to feed them. You get to hang out with them. If they come on you, you can pet them too. But uh, you can also watch them play for a little bit. It's a lot of fun. This is Franklin on my shoulder. That is Eleanor. This is our monkey room. Whenever you're making a tour, make sure you add it to it. It is incredible in my opinion. I don't think there's anything cooler than hanging out with a bunch of monkeys. Uh, we have some really comfortable seats for you to sit on. Uh, and they also, each seat comes with some different interactions. So if you want them to be super interactive with you, you can sit in one seat and we'll tell you which ones if you don't want them to bother you to sit in. And then there's one that you kind of get like half on and off. Now, a couple of really cool things I'd like to talk about for a moment. Uh, we just had a party here and uh, somebody had just left because they did not like to see that animals were in, clo in, in closures. And that's really important to talk about because what we do here is we have animals and by law, we have to have them in enclosures. Another thing that you may not think about is you're in an enclosure. Uh, most humans that I know live in an enclosure. I live in an enclosure. I was actually born in a facility um, in New York where they caged me for the first year of my life, picked me up and fed me too, just like I do with these little guys. Um, so our animals, if you didn't know, are not wild animals. They are not allowed to be in the wild. They have to be here in captivity, just like me and you. The only difference is I have a choice. I can live in the wild. I did that in New York for a couple of months. It was the worst feeling ever, especially in the cold where you have nowhere to go to keep yourself warm and you don't know where you're gonna get your next meal. So if it's up to me, I'm a human, I could choose. I choose captivity all day long. Uh, so the people that ended up leaving wouldn't even let us uh, explain to them that these guys are not allowed to be in the wild. And if they were, we would let them. But to be honest with you, they have a much better life here. As you can see, I'm not holding them with anything. And they're just hanging out on me because they're my best friends. Eleanor's my daughter. Franklin is my son. Now, what you guys may not know about Eleanor and Franklin, and some of you guys do know if you visited us before, Franklin came here. He was half dead when we got him. The night our vet came to visit him, she had told us that there is a more likely chance that he would not even survive the night. And look at him two years later. He is doing incredible. He legitimately had no hair in his body. He had stuff growing all over his face, inside his mouth. He couldn't eat. He couldn't drink. He was in terrible shape. Um, my kids raised him. I raised her. We quarantined her because we were afraid um, they were drinking together, eating together. And when they came to us, we were afraid that she had the same thing. So um, even though most people don't like to see animals in captivity, we completely understand. But a lot of people don't understand that the animals that we have cannot be put into the wild. It's against the law. And it's also against the law to not have enclosures. They're not allowed to be uh, free on our property. If that was the case, they would be. But because we have to follow the law so we can continue to provide an incredible life for these guys, you will see enclosures on our property. But our, our enclosures are much bigger than the law uh, says they need to be. And as you can see, when you come around and you see our animals, they actually really enjoy their lives here. And that's because we show them lots of love. And if you go to our videos and you could see all the different animals that attach to us and kiss us and talk to us, like you can hear them talking to us, it's incredible. Uh, they only do that because of the care that not just I provide, my kids provide, but our staff too. We have an incredible staff that spends lots of time with these guys. Now look at all these fun toys and ropes. They could be playing on them, but they're stuck on me. So um, just wanted to jump on here. It kind of bothers me when people start complaining that there's enclosures on our property and our animals here without us being able to educate them on why we have enclosures. And that's because we get inspected regularly because they want to make sure that we're maintaining a very good uh, place for these animals. And by law, they need enclosures here. So uh, if anyone has any questions about that, I'd love to talk to you guys about it. But Franklin is super duper cute. Make sure when you're making a reservation, I am telling you right now, one of the coolest experiences we do is the monkey adventure. Um, they're a little different when, they're, when I'm here, so they're not going to sit on your shoulders the whole entire time. But usually, they will be playing on all these ropes. You sit down here. Uh, let's see. You'll go play. Can you guys go play? No? You'd rather hang out with me? I love you, buddy. So, as you can see, they have a choice, and they can play if they want to. This guy would rather cuddle with me all day long. And her too. 
Pretty awesome. So if you have already done a monkey adventure with us, uh, let us know. I'd love to hear what you thought about it. Um, we do monkey encounters. Uh, our summer special includes monkey encounters. Uh, that means you get to meet Franklin, you get to pet him uh, and learn lots about him. But the monkey adventure is different. You come inside this incredible monkey room. Uh, we keep it at, it's 70, it says 75, but it's actually 72 because that five is an upside down too. So we keep it nice and cool in here. It's a nice break from the safari where in the summertime it can be kind of warm. And we're going to kind of see what you, what you kind of get to look at when you're in here. You get Eleanor all over the place because she is a maniac. How you doing? You going to pick my nose for me? Thank you. Franklin is a lot more chill, slow-mo, but he is awesome. And then we also give you guys fruit to feed them with, which is pretty cool. Uh, we put grapes on forks so you could feed them if they're hungry. Uh, sometimes they'll grab them right out of your hand. Sometimes they're not hungry and we don't force them to eat. Frank, when you want to, oh, there goes Eleanor. Eleanor is the crazy one in the family. That's because I raised her. My kids raised Franklin, and you can see how well-behaved he is. But uh, I act like Eleanor in real life, even though you might not believe me. But our safari for the summertime, if you weren't aware, is we're open Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. And it's $25 per person for the guided safari tours. And included in the guided safari tours is a monkey encounter. It's not this room. It's where you just get to meet Franklin. You get to pet him and take pictures. Um, it includes a sloth encounter. You get to pet our sloth, learn lots about her. And uh, you also get a kangaroo encounter, which means you go inside with our kangaroos. There'll be about 12 of them you get to pet, learn about. You'll even see some babies in the pouches, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then there's all kinds of add-ons. You can add on otter swims. You can add on otter encounters as well. And then you can add on this monkey adventure. Uh, we also have our VIP tours. If you didn't know, we have incredible VIP tours where you get to sit on the ground and play with our otters, which is pretty cool too. You could also add on a monkey adventure to that as well. You can add on an otter swim. All, oh my gosh, his tail almost just went in my mouth. That was weird. All of our um, add-ons are less expensive when you're adding them on to the VIP tour because the VIP tour is pricey. So uh, we want to make it a little bit fairer for the people that spend so much uh, for the VIP tour. We make it less expensive for most of these add-ons. And we also include some of the add-ons as well. But you can get all that on our website, animaladventures.com. And Eleanor... <laughs> Eleanor's used to me wearing a hat all the time, and I think she's getting a kick out of my bald head, and it's newly shaved. Right, Eleanor? And I don't know if you guys uh, follow V Friends or V Friends cards, but if you do not, please go check them out. Um, I am not wearing a V Friends shirt. I normally am 99% of the time, but um, <laughs> Eleanor, be nice to him. Don't slap him around. But V Friends has some really cool stuff. They have really cool trading cards, not just for kids, but adults too. Some of them are, are going up in value pretty high, which is neat. But the reason why I want you to go check them out too is you'll see these guys. Uh, Eleanor just did a special show uh, on VFriends cards, which is pretty cool. And I think they just released another one. I'm not sure which one they released today. I have to check it out after this video, but I just got a notification a few minutes ago. So anyone that's watching, any questions you guys have? Cheryl says she loves it. That's awesome, Cheryl. Um, we love our little monkey room too, and I love spending time with these guys. And as you can see, they can scale a wall, which is pretty cool. And uh, definitely sweet monkey business. I'm always monkeying around over here. Um, but I am never spanking my... <laughs> it shouldn't go that far. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. But no, nope, you can't go out that door. Thank you. Look, she just went underneath the couch. She slides underneath the couch. Look where this guy is. He just found a blueberry and he's eating it on my head. That's pretty nice. We feed these guys lots of really good uh, fruits like blueberries, raspberries, grapes, bananas, corn. You saying hi? It's hard for me to see. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go back outside and see what's going on out there. We got people doing tours. I did want to jump on here because uh, I think it's really important to discuss what we do and why we do it. This way, if you ever come out and you're ever surprised of why we have enclosures on our property, um, you don't think it's because we're mean to our animals, but um, 
to give them a really good life, we have to do things by the law. And if we don't do things by the law, we will be in prison. And I do not want to go to prison because then I can't afford to give these guys an incredible home. Right? And if I was in prison, this guy would not be living today. So thankfully, we do things by the book. We make sure we give these guys an incredible life. And they really enjoy it, as you can see from all of our content. If you go to our content, and I do lots of live videos just so you can see we're not editing it. Um, you go all to our content, and you can see how these guys act. So, yep, Jennifer, they definitely think I'm one of them. And one of the things that is really important to me uh, whenever I hang out with any of my animals, and you'll notice it a lot, except with the monkeys, because I don't really hang around and uh, hang from the ceiling much. Uh, but most of my animals, you'll notice that I kind of do things on the ground, like an otter. I lay on the ground a lot with them because they're on the ground. The kangaroos, I'm always low to the ground, just like a kangaroo. I'll sit just like a kangaroo. I'd much rather act like them than make them act like us. Now, uh, monkeys are a little bit different. If I can, uh, I might look like I'm in shape, but if I started hanging from those ropes um, and going back and forth, I'd probably kill myself and uh, I can't afford any more injuries. I have plenty of injuries from doing dumb stuff as a kid. And um, so unfortunately with the monkeys, I am their toy. I let them jump on me. They can jump off me. I could care less. They don't get in trouble. They can smack my head like I'm another monkey, like you probably saw two or three minutes ago. So they do think I'm one of them, and um, that's what I like. I don't want to make them uh, try to be more like me because that's not cool. I think they should have monkey parents, and I try to be the best monkey parent I can. I also groom them just like their moms would groom them, and they love it. You could see. Like they would, this is how their mom would groom and clean their hair. I do this. Uh, she used to clean my hair until I started shaving my head to save money so I don't have to go to a barber anymore. So we do a lot of the things that their parents would do to them as well uh, because they didn't ask to be here. Uh, they were only here because this guy was super sick and we had to take care of him. But if it was up to them, maybe they did want to be born in the wild. Who the heck knows? I know if it was up to me, I would never go live in the wild. I had an opportunity to do that uh, for a little bit and I could not wait to get back into captivity. Um, I even learned how to lock the door behind me in my enclosure. Right, Eleanor? You should say hi. And she is like my little daughter. She is a ball of energy though, right? Do you guys have anything else you wanna say before we go? No? And these two are best friends, believe it or not. They really are besties. Listen to the noise they make. Oh, now they're going to be quiet. Can you guys hear that? So we'll talk, we'll go. Can you guys hear the sound that they're making? They're not, they're not making it anymore. So if our monkeys didn't like the lives they had, uh, I don't think they'd be acting like this around me. So if you are one of the people that just left my property and upset seeing animals in enclosures, I hope you're watching this video because we did want to talk to you and explain to you why uh, we have enclosures. Um, and it may have been something that uh, would have made you feel a little bit better about it. But if not, Maybe somebody will share this with you later. Well, you guys have an incredible day. I'm going to end this video, but I'm going to put the link so how you can make reservations and tell you a little bit about the monkey adventure. So make sure if you want to hang out with these monkeys in this incredible monkey room, play with them, feed them, and hang out with them for a little bit, make sure you add a monkey adventure to your tour. Sorry. Talk to you guys later. Say bye-bye.